Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never watched one of my videos before, I'm a seer, I tap into past, present and future energy, I'm a psychic and a healer and I'm an open channel for the divine and right now all my messages are twin flame related, I am a twin flame myself. So chances are if you've been guided to my channel you are a twin flame about to meet your twin flame or already in some sort of established twin flame connection heading towards union in the 3D. So thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you stick around, it's a real pleasure. Anyone who decides to subscribe to my channel, it's a real honour and a blessing so thank you. My meshes, I'm just trying to get my camera straight, um, my meshes are quite specific most of the time, they're not going to be for everyone but most people who watch my channel, I have to say, they just, they're just they just so supportive of everyone else who's reading and I'm so grateful to you all for all the love you bring to this channel. It's I I cannot say enough um, how amazing you all are, so thank you so, so much. So I'll begin as I always do by calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, your guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. So I'm a bit sneezy tonight, so I think I've got some ascension symptoms. Or somebody has. Excuse me. Oh, I had a burp as well. <laughs> Thank you. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times? as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. can also request Archangel Michael that whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home, and their pets if they have them, and a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilize the connection between myself and spirit? Ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you Archangel Metatron, sending love, light and gratitude to you all, and so it is. Let's clear the energy. My dishwasher's on in the background. That lovely swishing sound, if it makes too much noise, I will put it off though. I've definitely got ascension symptoms. <laughs> Started just before this video. Okay, so whoever the energy is coming through, they're definitely going through their ascension. I'm just going to blow my nose quickly. Oh, I'm so sorry for that terrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair today, by the way. One side is super curly, as you can see, and the other side is just wavy. So this is my wavy side, this is my curly side. So I don't know what's going on. Um, and my hair's having a crazy day today. So I'm just going to let um, go with the flow of this message and see what wants to come through. I have got some past life cards here, so I think I'm going to tap in. I'm going to do a bit of past life, um, first of all find out what needs healed and what could be going on in the past life of this Twin Flame connection. I've got Archangel Michael's deck here um, and I'll get some overall energy of the love connection and the present and we'll also we'll have a tap in to future energy. So let's see, can we get some past life information through for whoever this is? It's going through a bit of an ascension right now. Okay, what a start. This is a past life love story. Very strange. Do you know who's just come into my head? Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson has just literally come into my mind's eye. Very handsome man. Very handsome man. Mother, 
forgiveness and high priestess. So there's a mother energy here that needs forgiven. This could be someone who has a very, um, who has a mother wound of some kind from past lives and who could be trying to go over a mother wound in this lifetime as well. Now the high priestess, this could be their mother was a high priestess or this is a high priest, high priestess energy who has to forgive their mother for some reason. Now, I just heard this is a mother energy who ran off with their lover in past lives. So they could have neglected whoever I'm picking up on here in past lives. They could have, yeah, look, childhood. Come to do with, they left you when you were a baby. They ran off with their lover when you were a child. And the lessons and blessings are here. So this is all about learning your karmic lessons um, throughout past lives. And this is your lifetime for blessings. You're a very blessed child. You have um, there's a mother figure here who in past lives left you as a child or something, and um, left you to fend for yourself or something like that. Um, and now whoever this could be a masculine who's very mistrusting of women for that reason because maybe their mother. Um, was never around for them or something, so tell me more about past life energy, please, for this twin flame couple, please and thank you. Spirituality and religion. Now that is the energy most um, high priest and high priestess is in. That's obviously what um, the energy Lord Jesus was the, the most renowned um, person, one of the most renowned people in history for his his connection to both spirituality and religion. But this is typical high priest, high priestess energy, which of course Lord Jesus was, is, and Mary Magdalene as well. Um, there's just something here. Somebody's scared of just scared of being hurt by anyone that is too loving and too nurturing. Yeah, the orphan cards here and persecution. So this could be someone who was abandoned as a child in past lives by a mother figure who ran off with her lover. And this person could have been somehow abused or persecuted for being, they were abandoned by their mother and somehow they could have ended up being abused. They could have ended up getting, you know, persecuted or something. Maybe they were stealing to, to feed themselves. Like this, whatever this past life situation was, it happened when they were a child and it happened with a mother energy who needs forgiveness in this lifetime. That is part of the karmic lesson because that came out with the lessons and blessings. So part of the karmic lesson is me able to forgive a mother figure. just hearing like um hard fa um hard face is the wrong word a very hard just um i'm trying to think of the word they showed they showed me but it's, you know someone who's very staring very hard faced hard um they're very hard on their children very stern very cruel not very nurturing, not very motherly. This could be a mother who didn't want their their child, sadly. Which is sad for all the, the women out there who are desperate, who are desperate for, for children, but sadly there is a lot of women. Karmic relationship now. Karmic relationships follow us through our past lives. If we don't close out those cycles, if we don't learn the lessons, they follow us and they keep happening and happening and happening in every incarnation. So there could be a karmic mother energy. There could be a karmic mother energy who needs forgiveness. Um, 
but this could also be a karmic love interest but let's see so greco-roman and ships come out together so there's definitely um definitely an energy of somebody who's got a strong connection to water um somebody who could have been in some sort of you know roman army or something like that or this is somebody Perseus. Perseus. Wow, I just heard Perseus. I wish I had my Greek deck now. <laughs> so this is somebody who has connection to Perseus. Somebody who also has some sort of connection to Rock Hudson. Because Rock Hudson certainly come out for a reason. Father and spouse and the angels. So this is this is two earth angels who were married in a past life. Run on the, the angelic frequency. There's something to do with a father energy as well. And phobias. So somebody could could fear um could could definitely um, fear like the the this is see this is like a mirroring is there's a mother here that needs to forgive him, but there's also I feel there's a phobia of a father figure leaving behind as well leaving or um, leaving you behind so this could be both you know you could both be see look yes this is somebody who fears the the sort of masculine energy leaving them. They could fear that that could be like a phobia native american energy coming through as well that monk or nun card keeps wanting to come out so there definitely could be someone here who you know could either have i mean definitely high priest and high priestess but this is somebody who's been both religious in past lives and spiritual in past lives so somebody could have been both a high priest or high priestess but also been an actual priest or a, or a monk. Communal living. This could have been like, just when I said monk, the communal living car showed up. So this could have been like the way the monks live, um, you know, in these huge groups that monks live in, you know, in the, the monasteries and things. Um, I'll get some of my own past life cars just to add a bit of weight to what's going on here. Can I get a bit more guidance for this past life situation? So this is a love connection. It's some of you were married to in past lives. There's an energy of Perseus here. Um, somebody who is an actor, somebody who's connected to the arts. You know, actor, actress. Somebody who's very adventurous. <laughs> a king or queen. Now, they, I did feel um, religion, so a monk, you know, priest or something, so rabbi, king or queen, and look at that. So, the arts, I definitely felt that as well. High priest and high, pri or high priestess. Anything else? Anything else you can share about past lives. So this is a mother figure that needs a, possibly a karmic mother that needs forgiven. Somebody needs to let go of their fear of abandonment of, of their father wound. So somebody needs to heal that out. Anything else just a mistake or do you want me to move on? One more, one more round. Do you want anything out of this deck? No, they're saying move on, saying move on. So that's all we're getting. This is a king or queen, high priest, high priestess energy, musician, dancer, the arts. 
recurring enemy when I split the deck. And that is the difference between that is the difference between being a karmic and being a recurring enemy. Sometimes we think the karmics are just karmics, they're there to teach us a lesson. But sometimes they can also be an actual recurring enemy who has placed some sort of hex on you and your person's union, your family, and they return every single lifetime to ensure the hex withstands. But do you know what actually can break a hex? Forgiveness and true love. So if you have, if you ha are having memories of your person, you know, hurting you or not choosing you or something from past lives and it's working in this lifetime, forgive them and let true love be the testament because that is what can break the hexes. So authority figure, vows, medicine man or woman, shaman energy and galactic. And we've got the knighthood in the bottom when this knighthood card is Avalon energy for me. So this is Starseed, Avalon, Shaman, King or Queen energy for sure with authority figures and also the vows. So this is some sort of promise or contract that was made, spirituality and religion again and trees. So Earth Warrior energy coming through as well. I'm going to tap in to the present energy of this connection now. The present energy of this connection. So let's see what wants to come through for the present. We've, we know from the past this was a king or queen. Definitely connection to Rock Hudson and the arts in some way. Act. So this could have been someone who could have been friends with Rock Hudson. They could have been Rock Hudson. Who knows? But this is, I just saw Rock Hudson. So this could have been someone that worked with Rock Hudson. And we saw Perseus as well with the ships and the the Greco-Roman energy coming through. Now I'm pretty sure Perseus became a king with Andromeda, if I remember rightly. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing a little capuchin monkey. <laughs> I don't know, there's a little capuchin monkey just scurrying around in my third eye here. So cute. And Archangel Metatron's here as well. He's not the one that's playing with the capuchin monkey. Just thought I'd add that. <laughs> capuchin monkey, so I don't know if that's somebody's, somebody um, is watching something about capuchin monkeys or there is Someone's got a little spirit animal who's a monkey. So I ask for the present energy of this connection. Irrepre irreplaceable. The way you love me can never be replaced. So somebody is understanding now that this love is a powerful love that's carried through thousands of, thousands of years, many lifetimes. And they're now understanding that if this person has tried to replace you in some way, Divine Feminine, it didn't go too well. Unsatisfied. I am I am unhappy the way things are going in my life right now. So this person may have tried to um replace you or think that they could do better than you in some way or that the the situation wasn't um this person could have thought, you know, like um what what was, what was I gonna say there? It was on the tip of my tongue. Um Right, so the, yeah, so this person could have could have thought that this this is just some sort of um, obsession with each other. It was just an intense lustful connection. It's all based upon lust. We just can't stay away from each other. But and this person may have thought, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I feel that this person stubbornly thought they could get better, they could move on, and they could move on from you. But they can't. They're now unsatisfied in their life. So, um. I'm afraid it's too late to take action in the conversation card and missing the sound of your voice. So this person's afraid they've taken too long to reach out to you. They're, this person's thinking, I'm really unsatisfied in my life. I can never replace my divine feminine. But I've taken my sweet and it's time to reach out to her. 
and now they're worried they've taken too long. Um, a bit more present energy and I'll get some future energy. Yeah, they're spending their time daydreaming about you instead. Like, you know, rather than reaching out to you, rather than taking the bull by the horns, which would be really difficult. Can you imagine trying to take a bull by the horns? Um, but instead of just trying to man up, woman up, divine masculine up, and take that leap of faith. So we'll find out if they're going to take the leap of faith in the future. Well, we'll get to the future in a moment. Let's get a bit more present energy. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance between us. So, you know what I'm going to tell you? You know what I'm going to say? I say it all the time. It's true. And now I have to remind myself of this every day as well. I don't just come on here and preach to you guys and give you a lecture. I give myself the same lecture every day. Every day. Well, not every day. That's a bit of, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But every few days. And, you know, when I'm in my meditation, I always end up going, do you know what? I need to stop thinking about us as two separate people. Because my, my Divine Masculine is with me all the time. And the reason why I know that is because I channel messages for this channel through my Divine Masculine. There's, you know, I have lots of um, things that I'm meant to be bringing through in this lifetime with part of my Divine Purpose. And right now I'm here as a facilitator for the, the Twin Flame um, Union to come in. I'm doing that with my Divine Masculine. So you, you can't see him in the physical right now, but he's here and he's working with me doing a, doing this mission for the Twin Flame Collective right now. And I have to remind myself of that. But it's hard sometimes, especially when you need that companionship. You just, you miss having somebody to snuggle with and, you know, go and watch, go and watch a nice romantic movie with or take a walk in the park with. All those things. And yeah, we, we find we find contentment within ourselves. That's what all this journey is about. Finding that peace and happiness and finding that everlasting bond with yourself, that that true love bond that you have right here all along. It's falling in love with yourself again, effectively. Falling in love with yourself completely and utterly and looking in the mirror and just thinking, wow, I'm so lucky to have you in my life. <laughs> just tell yourself that. I am I am so lucky to have you in my life and see it in the mirror because you are and that is what the Twin Flame journey is, it's falling in love with yourself and when you fall in love with yourself that is what you attract. You attract others to fall in love with you as well and the, the light you emanate from that self-love is just incredible and it's so healing to everyone around you. So. I have to give myself that same lecture. But your love is always there. The love is always, always there. But this person is definitely afraid of reaching out to you because I think they feel they've left it too long. It's like they're not going to want me now. But they still have hope. <laughs> they still have hope. I haven't given up on us yet. So that's amazing. This person, they, they know they're taking forever. They know they're unsatisfied with their life the way it is. The chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. So this is just, you know, for both of you, your masculine is chasing things. He's maybe chasing that nurturing connection because he's missing it from the, a mother energy or, or vice versa. It could be your divine feminine who is missing that mothering energy. Or you could be chasing this masculine because of your father wound. Whatever this is, there's a mother wound and a father wound, which is the most common issue amongst twin flames. Um, but your your masculine has been holding back. They have been holding back. And I think the, the trouble is, and I, I feel this with my own masculine as well, I know he loves me. I know he loves me so much and I know he wants to be with me, but he's almost like afraid now because he thinks, you know, how can I f face face her now after all I've, I've said and all I've done and 
And I do feel that's a problem with most masculines. And they end up leaving it and leaving it and leaving it. They end up putting it off because they're too afraid. Because they, they know that they know that you could quite easily reject them the way they rejected and hurt you. So and they can't they couldn't they couldn't cope with that because now they know how much they love you. So, you know, yeah, they're, they're constantly reminiscing about the times they shared with you. You're a runner. I don't want to run anymore. I've had time to reflect and I understand this connection. Being away from you has allowed me some clarity in this situation. And I want to mend things. I want to mend things. And I want to offer you something that I never offered you before. I want to offer you the loyalty and commitment you truly deserve. But this person needs to get out their head because it's one of those things, the longer they leave it, the longer they take their space, see, taking space, I need more time to heal. The longer they take, they think they're, you know, they're in that eight of swords energy. Oh, I can't reach out to them. They don't want to hear from me. I rejected them. I pushed them away. I sabotaged this. I'm the last person they want to hear from. I mean, they said they loved me like four years ago, but they probably don't love me anymore. So I've missed my opportunity. And this is the energy that so many masculines are in. Do you know, they didn't appreciate you when they had you. They just did not appreciate this beautiful, delicate little flower. Pure hearted energy they had in their life. They took you for granted. But the longer they take to pluck up the courage, the further away you're going to go. Yeah. So let me get some future energy. Let's see. Let's see what's coming in here. So let's see what's going to come in now. Let's get some future energy through for this twin flame couple or multiple couples. It could be for multiple couples because, um, you know, these energies match a lot of you and you, you will know um, if this sounds like you're masculine, you will get those little soul shivers, those little woo, just, just so you know this is for you. So I don't even watch tarot readings anymore, but sometimes I see a title of a, of a, a tarot reading on my my um, YouTube feed and I'll, I'll look at it and go, mm, sounds like it could be close to my, my story. And then I'll get a little, ooh, and I'll like, oh, okay, it is. So I know that's my guys just saying that it's something that you will benefit from. And not sometimes not all the message does benefit me, but some of it does, a bit of it does. So, Queen of Wands. Now, this Queen of Wands has been coming <laughs> nearly every night. Four of Swords. So there's complete silence between the two of you right now. No contact. And that's what's leaving this the Queen of Wands I'm picking up on here. That's what's leaving you in doubt of your person and then obviously when you're in doubt about your person they're in doubt about reaching out and it's a vicious circle <laughs> queen of cups but you also have to you also have to use your intuition here and understand that even though you're in separation right now there's still a very beautiful love between the two of you so you're, Divine Feminine, you're basically sitting in this magical high priestess energy, very charismatic. And I'm looking at the blue line here now. The blue line represents the Emperor in this deck as well. So you're just sitting, you're sitting, you're holding space for your, your masculine. But you're also loving yourself because I'm just getting, you know, bubble baths and flowers around you and reading books and things. So there's silence between you and your person, but you're also <laughs> focusing on love for yourself. I do feel that, Divine Feminine, you are. So let's see. Tell me a bit more, please, about this connection. Knight of Cups <laughs> and Four of Wands. 
and two pentacles. So you can tell by those three cards. Just even if you're not a tarot reader, you know enough about tarot to know the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. That is someone who wants to come in now and be romantic, be vulnerable, and offer you some sort of confession of love to move towards a happier place, to move towards this Four of Wands, union energy, commitment energy. This is just being happy together. I mean, the Four of Wands for me is always a fairy tale. It's like your, your fairy tale, your dream, whatever your dream is, whether to live together in a little house by the beach or whether it's to have a beautiful white wedding in a church of your choice, whatever your happily ever after is, whatever your fairy tale moment is. But this person really does want to work on this connection. They want to, they want to make this a partnership again. And the six of coins are in the bottom. So they do want to make this an equal partnership now. They didn't appreciate you before. <laughs> but they do now. <laughs> yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Six of Cups. Destiny is coming back around. You guys are destined to be. This is a love that's destined to me. Your love carries a very beautiful frequency, so if this is Pierce's and Andromeda energy, then that is going to be very special. Seven of Coins, Manifestations. Tell me more about this couple for the future, please. Oh, <laughs> I think it just jumped out of my hand. <laughs> Ace of Wands, Divine Timing. Passionate new beginning for both of you. Tell me what else the future holds. Nine of Wands. Now, Nine of Wands is not giving up. It's just saying don't give up because there is a beautiful new beginning on the horizon here for the both of you. Give me a bit more future energy for this couple. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I wanted. King of Swords. Communicating, Page of Swords and Ace of Cups. You have, you definitely have a message of love coming in. A message that's going to lead to messages of love from a King of Swords who could have air in their chart. But this is, this is a long time coming. But I feel this person was their own worst enemy. Like, you know, I haven't they told me they loved me four years ago and I haven't even responded to that text. They, you know, two years ago I ignored their call and I never bothered phoning them back. And the two years have passed, so I'm the last person they want to hear from. This is the kind of things this person's been telling themselves and that is what has been holding them up. Son, yes, that's the truth. That is the truth. That is the clarity of the situation. But this person needs to get out of their, their own head. They need to stop worrying that you've walked away from them for good. They're, they have to stop thinking that they've missed an opportunity. Because they haven't. They haven't, but they think they have. They think they have. They're already, they're already grieving the loss of this connection. They think they have missed an opportunity. Five of Wands. Three of Swords. They think their, um, their inability to commit to you, their inability to, I, I feel, I'm going to be honest, I feel this person had a real issue with women. They saw women as Mm, bothersome, um, hard work. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm, I just heard something and I'm not going to say it. And I know people say you should say what you heard, but I don't think it's fair to say. Um, but yeah, 
um, it's it was just too too much outdated thinking. Let's put it that way. That women are only good for certain things. Strength, strength, and the death card. So the vulture is obviously a very powerful symbol of rebirth as well. So that but this person could have a vulture as a spirit animal. But um, there's also tigers been coming through a lot as well. So strength and death. This person's had to take a lot of it's taken a lot of courage for this person to to finally open up to their gifts in some way as well. <laughs> the fool. They're ready to take a leap of faith. They are ready. They're getting the courage here to take a leap of faith. Okay. Tell me what will happen when this masculine takes a leap of faith here. And two cards wanted to jump out the deck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nine of cups. And let's see the other card that wanted to come out as well. Two of wands. So this person is going to make a decision. And they're going to come towards their, their wish fulfillment here. Ten of Swords just jumped out of the deck. But that is partly why this masculine is scared to return to you now. I don't believe this masculine done anything with a third party. I just feel this person feels like they betrayed you. Because you are the one person that they they were supposed to give their love and commitment to and I feel they were so tainted yeah they just walked away from you instead if this couple can forgive the past yeah I mean this, they're, sorry I said that was two of wands that's actually three of wands so this person definitely is going to, yeah, I, well I did say right because I said this person is going to make a decision to go towards a wish film, which was right. <laughs> King of Wands, Two of Wands and Seven of Wands and the Chariot. So this person is definitely, they're making a decision. They're definitely making a decision. We've already got the Three of Wands out, got the Four of Wands out. So the Two of Wands is the energy this person was in. They were resisting making a decision here. They were resisting following the guided, the path they were guided to take by the Divine. But not anymore. I mean, the Chariot's here and Temperance. So this person's definitely following their Divine Guidance now. They're seeing clarity. They're seeing through. <laughs> Six of Wands. And the Emperor, and there's that blue line energy I saw with the Queen of Wands. And we've got the King Queen of Wands out here now as well. This is victory for this Emperor. But yeah, they have to, yeah, the Hermit. So they've definitely been going through Dark Knight of the Soul, Ace of Swords. So yeah. This Emperor, they know they have some work to do here. They know they have some making up to do. They know they have some major sucking up to do. But I don't believe there's a third party here. This person, they see you in this energy. This loving, this loving Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, you're just, you're sitting loving life. Loving yourself. Being kind and compassionate and lovely to everyone. Yeah, this person was just, I, I'm, I just, not even just non-committal, I just feel this person was not willing to open themselves up to a loving connection with a female. So this could be someone who, you know, they, they denied that they ever wanted anything to do with women. Um, and I don't mean that in a, in a weird way, but, you know, they, as I say, I, I, I got like a very, um, like, you know, not women should be seen, should be seen and not heard, but women sh are really, really, you know, they're, they're not as important as men. And it's because this masculine has some sort to do with this conditioning they had. And it's because of their mother figure. 
So Bard, allow creativity to flow freely from your heart space. Now we saw in the in past lives this person was an artist, um, like you know, into the arts or an actor, singer, something like that. So this person is very creative, very musical, could have um definitely actor abilities. The hair, trust in your instincts and follow them now. So the hair again could be a, a, a very significant for this masculine or the feminine, the hair could represent some sort of spirit animal. Oh, the cards have been too chatty, they're all jumping out at once. So the forest goddess. Honour your emotions and allow yourself to feel them deeply. So this was part of the problem as well, the masculine was so closed off to their emotions, especially when it came to the emotions towards women and it's because they had to they have to forgive this because i say this could be part of their karmic journey part of their karmic lesson they have to forgive a mother figure from past life and from this lifetime possibly as well the bridge believe in the infinite possibilities of the universe so there's definitely a strong energy of the universe is bringing the two of you back together here pulling the two of you back together there's some some sort of frequency you two are about to bring forward to the collective energy and to the the universe and to the you know the overall mother Gaia energy the hidden waterfall create a sacred space for peace and reflection at this time so I did get that kind of hermit mode coming through for the masculine sorry I'm gonna love tickle tickles on my tippy tappies on my head <laughs> I don't know who it is but um thank you for <laughs> thank you for the little head massage um pine so it says take a moment take a moment to pause and appreciate the simple things in life and do you know what i love because i always get left a pine cone in the same place by my little bird friends <laughs> there's no pine trees close to my street i do pass some when i'm out and about walks and things but i always find a pine cone just close to my my garden gate and there's no pine trees there and I know it's the birds that leave it there for me so honestly the pine cones are so beautiful and uh, in Scotland we call them cockabendies <laughs> but whenever when my kids were little and my mum used to say go and go and collect the cockabendies because we had a huge big pine tree at the end of our garden and um, we lived kind of on a croft and um she would say to my kids go and pick some cockabendies from the grass and we'll we'll make art with them she used to like get them to put glitter and paint and stuff on them and every time she said the word cockabendy my kids would start giggling <laughs> so it's just such a great word isn't it so yeah i love that card it's beautiful but yeah this is just taking a moment to enjoy the simple pleasures of life that's a lesson for us all not just for this twin flame couple the wolf oh, i knew the wolf would come out so this is divine masculine energy. This is the energy most divine masculines are in until they come back to their divine feminine. Remember that you're a powerful co-creator of your reality. So, I mean, the thing about the wolf is the wolf definitely runs in packs and is a great team, team player, but the wolf can go alone and be powerful and really stand in its power on its own as well. So, and do you know what I love about the wolf pack, which I've only just recently discovered? The wolf pack, it's ran by m most, I mean, you automatically think of alphas, right? So that you do get the alphas in the wolf pack. And it's not about the size, it's the energy that the wolf gives off. So you can have a really small alpha wolf leading a pack. Um, but it's because it's the energy that that wolf emanates. Big energy, which I love. It's all about the energy with the wolves, very supernatural. But what I really love is, yeah, the alpha kind of brings all the rules, but they all rely on the women. So there's always like a, there's a, a leader of the pack, not the alpha, a leader of the pack, who they all take guidance and take the lead from, and it's a feminine. They always have a female leader of a wolf pack, and that is the, she is like the matrix. I didn't realize that wolves were so matriarchal, and they are, they definitely, and it's the same with orcas. Orcas, when they're in their huge pods, they follow the grandmothers, which I just find absolutely amazing. The grandmothers are the, the main leaders of the orca pods. 
and when the grandmother energy pass, passes away they have these beautiful burial rituals which I don't know if you ever watched them online but they're incredible and um, the sounds that they make when this the, the elder of their orca pod passes away but yeah as I say wolves and orcas they have a matriarchal leader so I always I find that amazing Sorry for that useless will fact. <laughs> the eternal roots go back to your roots to find yourself. So this is this is again a message for us all. You have to know who you were in your past to know who you are in your present. To really step into who you are in your present. And you know, I I, I always say this, it's like so important to do that work with your guides and with the archangels too really tap into your Akashic records yourself because once you start to know who you've been in your past lives it really helps you to understand who you are and that's what that card's all about. Look at your roots and see where you've come from. Your roots is your, your, the roots you have are your only the only truth you'll ever need. So can I get some guidance please on some of the zodiac signs here please. So Ascension, this connection's ascending right now. So the third party card came out. Now I never picked up any third party energy at all. Um, so that I, I just feel the third party energy was definitely this karmic mother energy, which whether they're alive or not, I don't know. But there's something about forgiveness of a karmic mother here that needs, that is required. Communication is coming in for this twin flame couple, amazing. That's amazing. So the communi there's communication coming in. Music is important here. So nearly all twin flames communicate through music. So, but I felt this person has some connection to the arts, music. Um, I'm definitely getting an old, an old movie Hollywood feel here. I don't know. Um, I don't even know much about Rock Hudson's life but now we've got that nine of wands energy but they're not giving up and there's a card come out just to verify it again this is someone who does not want to give up they know they've waited a long time Taurus and the healing heart so this could be a Taurus that wants to heal this love connection with you or you could be a Taurus who's focusing on self-love right now which is healing your twin flame connection Libra somebody could have some Libra energy a positive outcome is on the horizon. Any other zodiac signs for this couple? Scorpio and the High Priestess card. So you could be a High Priestess with Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Archangel Michael's cards here. So Archangel Michael is definitely, as always, guiding this twin flame connection. Anything else, please, zodiac signs? I'm going to get a prayer from Archangel Michael to finish. <laughs> Thank you, Archangel Michael. So let's see. I made the wrong choice and it still haunts me. Every single time. But it's all meant to happen that way, right? I mean, it would not be a twin flame journey if the masculine made the right choice. <laughs> there's no twin flame goes, oh yeah, my masculine, I said we're twin flames. And <coughs> I said, you're my divine counterpart. And they went, cool, let's get married. That never happens. <laughs> Never. And if it does happen, it's not a twin flame connection. Let me tell you, it's not a twin flame connection. No masculine or feminine who is a twin flame runner gives in to the connection that easily. Um, so if that is the case, you're not in a twin flame connection. All twin flame connections are challenging. They are an emotional roller coaster. They challenge you every single twist and turn. It's a road full of twists and turns. You never know when a next hairpin corner is going to come in or you're going to reach a dead end and have to reverse and go another way. But it's also a journey of the, the most beautiful moments as well. Divine moments, divine miracles, divine blessings. It's, it's a true divine blessing to be given the role of a twin flame. And when you start to understand that and see it from a different perspective, my life is completely opposite to what it was before I met my twin flame and in the best possible way. I literally, 
my life is so full of lack. And yes, the emotional side of your twin flame journey is hard. The rejection, the heartbreak, everything. But it's all designed to make you heal and find that holy grail energy within yourself. And when you do, I, I can tell you, I can, I can promise you. And I know some of you watching this, a good chunk of you are already in that energy, which is amazing. And you get to the point where you can do it no more. You've done all you can for your twin flame journey. And now it's up to the masculine to learn their lessons, complete their journey, go through their healing and ascension. And it's just, while that's going on, you make the decision. You know, you're healed. You can make the decision now what you want to do with your life, how you want to proceed. But I'll tell you this much for sure. You will never look back at your past and go, I miss my old life. Never. Because the I I know for for a fact I have never wanted a day for anything since I met my twin flame. My life just got better and better and better. And the more you heal and the more you connect with God, the more you connect with your higher self, the more you step into that energy of unconditional love. Because love is all there is. There's no greater power in the world. And, you know, as I, as I will always say to my kids, people fight over money and oil and land, you know, gold, diamonds. But the, the most powerful thing you can possess is love. It's the one thing that can never be taken away from you. Because even though you think your person's, oh, they've been taken away by a car, mate, they've been this or that. I've been through all that myself. Like, oh, this is a risk, there's injustice in the world. Yeah, of course. But then you understand that they, they were able to take your masculine because they were not in the same frequency as you at that time. They were not ready to step up and be the emperor and be your true divine masculine. But when they are, when they do make the, those wrong choices, that is what then allows them to go through their awakening. And that is when you truly know that you're starting to heal. Yeah, everything is divinely orchestrated. Everything is divinely orchestrated for you both to learn your karmic lessons, to close out your karmic cycles, just to learn to tap into your beautiful um, divine energies, both of you. Sagittarius and manifestation. So either a Sagittarius could be manifesting you or you're manifesting a Sagittarius, but there's definitely a Sagittarius in manifestation mode of some kind. One more card, please, and I'm going to get a prayer from you, Archangel Michael, to finish. Communication and divine timing. So I got the Ace of Wands, and so there's definitely, and look, 1010, and we're nearly at the 1010 portal. That's exciting. <laughs> An olive branch, which is very interesting because all the branches have a very strong connection to Athena and Perseus and Andromeda have a very strong connection to Athena also. In fact, Athena really helped Perseus and Andromeda's relationship. So Athena could definitely be working with this couple as well. Just when I seen the olive branch there, I thought of her. So, let's see. Can I get a prayer please, Archangel Michael, for this twin flame couple to close out this message? Thank you. <laughs> this is your life's purpose, okay. So let's see. Um, explore your options and energy healing work okay so i did get a, i did get that shaman um energy coming through make a commitment <coughs> okay <coughs> so somebody here's stepping into divine purpose this masculine could be could be stepping into their divine purpose as a shaman as a healer <coughs> and my throat shag has just started to close up so let's see, let's see what time we're on. <gasps> I don't believe it. This is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael, 
You know the details of my divine life purpose and I ask you to help me to align with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful new career. <coughs> so Archangel Michael definitely helping someone to step into the divine purpose here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Energy healing work. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for sending healing energy to me and through me. For my own blessings and for all those around me, thank you for connecting me to this loving, high integrity, healing energy and the teachers of energy healing modalities. So this person definitely could be stepping into a process being like an energy healer teacher or um, they could also, I just saw 555 five, five, by the way, or they could be, you know, like becoming like a, a Reiki healer or a, they could even be learning from a Reiki master. They could become a Reiki master, whatever this is. So it says, explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me to see, understand and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me to the in the best direction for my health, happiness and life purpose. So three cards about life purpose. Wow, that that never happens. So there's clearly this person um, who is going to step towards you and take that leap of faith. They're clearly working on taking steps to their life purpose first before they return. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you now to lead me with your strength. Allow me allow me to commit to myself, my life and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience ahead. So four cards of committing <laughs> to yourself and your divine purpose. That, that is unbelievable. So this person is truly stepping into their divine purpose or they're about to because four cards all about um, recognizing your divine purpose here so that's amazing thank you Archangel Michael thank you so much so I'm just putting a little crystal back on top of Archangel Michael's deck so thank you all for watching as always all the details you need from me are below this video please feel free to check it out You'll find details of my services in there, how you can become a member of my channel, where to buy beautiful otter spirit jewellery and help the wild otters at Monterey Bay and you get a special 20% discount just for being my viewers. So thank you so much. And I send you all so much love and blessings. God bless you. God bless your homes. God bless your family and your pets if you have them. And God bless your unions come in very soon in the 3D. And thank you for all the love you bring my channel. I really, I really appreciate you all and feel so blessed. So, Everlasting Father, thank you for this time together today and thank you for all you do for us. As we all move on with our day or night, wherever we are in the world, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm, I've got a crown in my mind's eye right now. Somebody's definitely stepping into their king or queen energy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Namaste.